in my closet at home uh, because I uh, forgot it. Well, that answers part of my question. Actually, <laughs> despite having made you the cake of dicks, yes. I still don't know what the original joke was that led to you wanting it. Oh, okay. Dicks. Let me explain the etymology of the <laughs> Cape of Dick's origin story. This is a point one issue, so uh, it's not going to be written by the main guy that writes the book, but uh, it's, it's real, uh, interesting uh, continuity, I suppose. And um, it goes like this. So, Chris Hardwick uh, is one of my best friends. Chris Hardwick and I uh, lived together when we were in college, and we have known each other ever since, and he's amazing. His Nerdist channel on YouTube starts on Monday as well, um, and I highly recommend watching that. Uh, it's going to be great. So, uh, he does a joke in, in his stand-up, uh, and I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's something about how he could be riding a lion wearing a cape of dicks, and, uh, and, and, and then a thing would happen. This is probably the worst way to tell a joke ever. And I promise you that Chris is significantly funnier than I am on account of him being a, a professional stand-up comic. But we were doing the Nerdist podcast at San Diego Comic-Con last year, and uh, it was amazing. I kind of touched Karen Dillon's hand. <laughs> and she kind of couldn't run away from me. <laughs> um, and then Matt Smith was all, oh my god, you're in Stand By Me, and hugged me. It was amazing. <laughs> and Harvard and I were just talking about how great it would be to, to own an actual cape of dicks. And I said, that would be great if someone would make me a cape of dicks. Stupid. 
I don't have a tattoo. I do have a Corsican plot. But I also don't, uh, and, and, I, and I don't have a muscle car. None of you know what I'm talking about, but you do. <laughs> Cosplay, and it's maybe the most amazing thing. <laughs> so my, my superhero name would be Captain Awesome, and my power, my superpower would be uh, going anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted, uh, making awesome things happen. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, first of all, thank you very much for doing this for 90 minutes. Welcome. Well, thanks for sitting here for 90 minutes. <laughs> And the fact that you do free autographs means that you really appreciate and love the fans. I hope. Before you think I'm supremely altruistic, I want to be really clear about something. Um, I've got books. <laughs> and, and for a long time I made my, I made my living as, as a writer. And uh, a number of years ago I was going to a con and I wanted to bring my books. And the comic book was like, okay, you can sell your books, but then you have to charge people for autographs when, you sign, when they sign your books. And I said, that's bullshit, man. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, I, I'm sorry, these are good books, but they're not worth, you know, basically charging somebody twice for something like that. And I won't do that. And that sort of started this, uh, this kind of... Uh, That was very funny. <laughs> my, my question was, how do you take this poking fun of you and joking with you, family guy, something awful, things like that? Was it a learning curve, or have you always been cool with it? I think it's really, um, it's, I'm fine with it. I've always been fine with it. Uh, it's, I don't know, I'd rather that someone makes fun of, when you make fun of something, and you go to the effort to make to do clever humor about a thing, it's it's actually quite it's quite moving. Uh, it, it's 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 an honor. Uh, you know, mean spirited like oh, I, I'm trying to play Battlefield on Xbox kind of stuff. That's lame. There's nothing funny about that. Um, but but people who are like I'm going to do this clever thing that sort of makes fun of a thing that, that I did. I love that, and I feel really honored that anyone even thinks it's worth doing in the first place. And when I got that Family Guy script. It's really common in animation for, for something to be written and then uh, uh, they'll write like maybe 10 pages more than they end up actually using. Things get cut out for whatever reason. And I had no idea what was going to make it into the script. And there's actually a lot more. It's more of a slow burn of Stewie getting angry at all of us and, then, and, and like really hating us as, as, the, as the day goes on. Um, but I knew that that joke was going to stay because it's a callback to Cool Whip, which is a family guy sort of staple joke thing. Um, and as I told you yesterday, um, you're the first person that's brought me a tub of Cool Whip to sign. And the only other time I ever made that Cool Whip joke was actually in the grocery store. I made that joke and I held it up uh, to my wife. <laughs> Because uh, I was actually born in 1985, I grew up.